as an industrial designer, um, Small World Social came to us to be able to design and manufacture quick prototypes to help them facilitate a project with the Australian Breastfeeding Association. Breastfeeding, whilst might seem a natural um, process, it can be a complex activity to undertake. The Google Glass allows the ABA consultant to see through the user's eyes. The attachment that we've designed modifies the video feed so that it points downwards. It facilitates a live feed so that the mother can communicate with the ABA to understand the technique that's happening in real time. The live video feed enables the mother to um, stay with the process of breastfeeding rather than shifting over to bottle feeding. The real purpose of this project is to be able to facilitate uh, a dynamic relationship between a support person and the mother breastfeeding in remote and rural communities. The glass prototype that we were able to design uh, used additive manufacturing uh, to layer by layer produce a plastic model that we could adapt to the Google Glass. The parametric model allowed us to modify the angle of the mirror on the glass. We were able to uh, input various uh, angles and then give the glass out to the mothers to field test. We could then capture that information and then re-enter that into the model to be able to adapt it to then send out new prototypes into the field. One of the uh, issues of glass technology is that users can wear them and take photos of people or shoot video without other people really knowing what's happening. The infant ball print project was initially funded through Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation money. The key to scanning the foot uh, allows um, researchers and medical uh, healthcare workers to easily and reliably scan the feet of third world country uh, children, keeping records and biometric information readily available online. For families that are always on the move, uh, this technology allows a digital record to be kept of the uh, infant and it also overcame the problems of keeping paper-based records that can be easily lost. This allows the physician to be able to look at what uh, medicines have been administered to the child, to alert the healthcare um, provider as to what might need to happen at this medical visit when the child has been brought in. With the Gates Foundation, they were looking at three different ways of identifying biometrics with children. Uh, one was with an eye retina scan, the other one was with fingerprinting, and then looking at the foot scan. The research team looked at three different ways of uh, measuring the foot. One was with a camera, uh, the other one was with inkless paper, and then also with a scanner. The scanner proved to be the most reliable um, technique. And then with the implementation of this platform that we were able to make through the use of additive manufacturing, um, we've been able to more reliably locate the infant's foot on the scanning platform whilst the scan is occurring. The scanner that we were using is a cheap off-the-shelf um, fingerprint scanner. We were able to come up with a platform that allows a physician in the field to just snap on the scanner to quickly and easily relocate and scan the footprint of the child. As a hacktivist, I really believe in being able to share digital designs online, to be able to allow online communities to adapt and develop your own ideas and to share the, that information within those communities.